phobias, those extreme or irrational fears people have of heights, for example, or maybe spiders, can make normal life difficult for many sufferers. But in Mexico, one student engineer has come up with an innovative way to treat patients' conditions using virtual reality technology to gradually expose them to their fears. 23-year-old Adriana Martinez came up with the idea after previous treatments for her own phobias were ineffective. We use a VR headset to show patients the subjects of their phobias, while at the same time monitoring their beta brainwaves and increasing exposure as stress levels decrease. It's similar to current exposure treatments, but is conducted in an entirely safe environment. Adriana's virtual reality technology is currently designed to treat two conditions, nyctophobia, a fear of the dark, and acrophobia, a fear of heights. But she says she hopes to develop the technology to help people overcome a whole host of other phobias too. The VR technology reflects the reality that a patient is afraid of. Fear of the dark is treated by gradually fading light within the headset, while patients with a fear of heights experience the simulation of gradually ascending from a virtual ground level. Raimundo Moreno suffers from vertigo and says the new technology would be a great help to him. Heights cause me a lot of stress. When in those situations, my palms start to sweat and I get very dizzy. The VR is a very vivid experience, and I think it could help me with my fears, because you truly feel you are in that reality. Lorena Larios is a psychologist and told us that phobia treatments are best treated sooner rather than later. The longer a phobia goes untreated, the more serious it generally becomes. A fear of spiders, for instance, can evolve into a fear of all insects, while a fear of speaking in public can turn into a terror of personal contact. Modern technology can be a great tool for tackling these issues. As VR technology becomes more commonplace, the hope is that phobia treatments will develop alongside it and go towards helping sufferers in Mexico and beyond. Alistair Baverstock, CGTN, Mexico City.